The cold will go away. Yeah, we're gonna light you on fire. Alright, welcome back, laggers, to another episode of The Town of Light. Light, light, light. This game still kinda is a little bit creepy to me, only because it's like it feels like she's talking to you while you control her. It, it's it's such a trip. <laughs> it's a trip. And I in the last episode we just found her little doll. And like the background music is just like oh and I just kinda am like hmm. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> So, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Hope you guys like it. It's It, it creeps me the fuck out. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm trying not to curse all the time. But it creeps me out. Every time I'm walking around and she starts talking, I get goosebumps on my arm. Every single time. But once we get loaded in, I'll be back and we'll start playing until chapter 3. Okay, see, and that's the creepy doll I was telling you about. It's a creepy doll. Oh, do we need first aids? Okay, cool, so we don't get first aids. Um, what? Oh, I can flip through the book. What? It shows you how to separate skin from stuff. Ugh. What is that moving in the background? What is that moving? What is that? Oh. There's her finger. Creepy. Okay. So now I think it was H? No. L? J? That's the memory of her with her dolly. No documents yet. So we're trying to f play through and figure her out. So let's go check it. We got the power on, we'll flip that on. No, maybe this one. Flip down. It's still locked. Still locked. Hmm. Where do we go? Oh, music. Those lamps might make the room warmer, but Charlotte's uncomfortable. She doesn't feel well. Well, let's burn Charlotte's face. Because she creeps me out. Yeah, like, see, like, right now I'm getting goosebumps because I don't know what to expect. Kind of trippy. Aha, open everything. Maybe we can go in Charlotte here. is cold. Let's find her a warm place. Okay, so we gotta find a warm place. Maybe a bed. Ooh! Got a memory, I think. Goosebumps. Nope. Medical records. Experiences. Uh, nope. Oh, you can turn dials. Okay, what's in here? Ah! <laughs> so we gotta find a place for the dolly. What is this? No idea. So it's a transfer document for a patient. Mm. 
this is not a good place for Charlotte. She'll be cold here. Okay, he doesn't... He doesn't want to. No, in the town of light. He doesn't want to. What? What do you mean? So, okay, I guess we went all around upstairs. Maybe we should go downstairs? Because we already went all the way up here. Couldn't find a spot where Charlotte wants to go. So downstairs it is. Oh yeah, and I took the elevator last time. It's a creepy old elevator. Okay, well, let me close the door. Thank you. And look. See, listen to that, it's so creepy. I'm not, I don't play, I love horror movies, but I don't like playing I don't know what this would be like. Uh, it's not like Amnesia. Like, you'll never see me play Amnesia. Probably never see me play that. I'm not one to play that game. I don't like being scared out of my pants. Maybe we can go in this one now? He'll get angry. Who? He'll certainly get angry. Who is he? See, look at that. Ah. So that there. Goosebumps again. Major goosebumps. Uh -huh. Where can we go to put you in doll? Because we need to leave you somewhere. Oh, we can't walk into the crap, the poopers, the crappers, the loo. Can't go into the loo. If we can go inside now, nope, still can't go inside. If we can go this way. He doesn't want to. No, in the town of light, he doesn't want to. Don't understand what you mean. Maybe here. Where can we put you? Alright. I'm gonna keep searching, trying to figure out where this dang doll goes. So I turned this thingy on, and I can look at stuff. Ah, oh. Maybe we can try going through the front door again? one of those games where you enter and you cannot exit. It's warm in the sun, that's true. It'll turn cold in the evening. That's not good for Charlotte. Okay, so we're outside where it's warm. Where do you go, doll? Shark hunt. Well, and the hunt begins for this doll. Okay. We're gonna... Because <clears throat> <laughs> this thing pointed out to us. Just... <gasps> oh, we this is them. a comfortable place for Charlotte. We did it. But it's cold. No, no. It's Are cold. Don't shiver, Charlotte. The cold will go away. Yeah. We're gonna light you on fire. Maybe. And are we... Okay, so that's how I turn it. Let's put you outside, Charlotte. Pushing in a wheelchair, awfully slow. Isn't it great? We need to find warm lights. Let's go into the surgical ward. Okay. Oh, and look at that. Look at here.
Okay, so looks like we have to leave the wheelchair. Let's take Charlotte into the surgical ward. There are warm lights there. So we gotta go upstairs, no matter what. Because I think the surgical ward is upstairs. Alright, Charlotte. And we're gonna push you in there. Are you fit? Oh, yeah. Look at that, you fit. And we're gonna take this super cool elevator upstairs. Did a volatoranya. Toranya. Surgical ward. And guess what, Charlotte? We made it to the surgical ward. We're gonna back you up. Deep, 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 deep. Okay, surgical ward. Pretty sure it's over here. We're gonna pull you into this nice cozy spot over here. This is where I think that's surgical. And let's put you in the, the cold light. goes away, you see? <clears throat> the light. Oh. Warmth. We can do it. The cold goes away. It's not forbidden. Now we can go to that ward where everything started. It all began in the observation ward on the ground floor. Okay, so we're going back down. Close the door. Now it's time to find the observation ward. What is observation ward? Eight. Okay, so we go down this hall through the doors that we couldn't go through earlier. Woohoo! Oh, goosebumps, major goosebumps. Are you shut too? Really? Really? Are you two gonna shut? Are you guys just gonna... That's so kind of weird, it's kind of creepy. It's kind of creepy. And the door, the floor. What goes on with the floor? Should we jump? I think we're gonna jump. Everything terrified me. Even thinking. What? So bright. So I feel like something's gonna just jump out at me. She'd be like, Hoka ka ka ka! Hoka ka! Are you loading now? They said they were taking me to a place where the fear would go away. Where I would get better. I stopped living guys. in there. <laughs> they dragged me away and tore off all of my clothes. Every last stitch. I tried to explain what was going on in my head. They tied me to the bed. For days. Alone with my nightmares. 
It wasn't fear anymore. It was madness. This is madness. <laughs> and when you're mad, you cease to exist. Bum, bum, bum. And white loading, white light. White, utterly bright light. Oh. <laughs> Man, this game is just, it's not creepy, it's just what goes on in the game. It's you're walking through, you're experiencing what she experienced, I guess, is really what happens. Which is a little different, it's a little different of a game. Can't complain, I guess. It's the first of its kind that I've ever played. I'm not one to play any type of spooky games. I don't care for them too much. But I was like, hey, why not? I'm doing it for the channel. <laughs> I'm doing it for you guys. Okay, and we're loaded. And we're stuck in a bed. We're to move with a bunch of other crazy people. Whoa! She was my only hope in this hell. I was falling down amongst the damned. But that woman and her smile kept me alive. That smile is not very pretty. At all. Mm. Here we go. And we're back, but we're in the dark. Oh, it had to be dark, didn't it? I need my flashlight. Alright, guys. We're on chapter three now. And that is where I'm going to call it an episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And tune in for the next episode of The Town of Light. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And... Share it if you feel fit. Yeah, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.